Hi everyone, here we are on the fourth floor of Peebles Golf Club and what we're going to discuss is a little bit of probably one of the most common faults in golf or one of the most frequently produced shots in golf which is a, a shank and we're going to discuss four, four common faults that cause it, this and four tips to work on how to rectify it. So the first, the first common fault is we're going to talk about weight distribution. So normally what you'd have when you are addressing the ball, normally have your weight on the arch of your feet or known as the balls of your feet. So we're going to take our weight away from there. So one of the most common faults I see is when people have their, their weight on their, their heels. What this does is when if you're sitting on the back of you, if you're sitting into your heels, eh, what that does is when you are on the, the downswing, centrifugal forces pushes you forward. So you're, you're almost ahead of the golf ball. So what this does is when you're ahead of the golf ball and your weight's on your toes, you get your weight's pushed towards your toes from your heels and the club is the heel of the club is presented to the ball and that's when the, the ball shoots off to the right. So that increases the prospect of uh, introducing the heel to the golf ball. So what you need to do is you need to try and feel like your your weight's evenly distributed towards the balls of your feet or almost slightly towards the toes of your your toes. So that's one of the faults we're gonna talk that's one of the faults we'll discuss. The second fault is when people roll their hands in the backswing. So we're going to talk about the first part of the, the swing, which is the takeaway. So the takeaway, what tends to happen is people tend to snatch their, their hands on the, the backswing. So what ten, when they address the golf ball, they address it. But what happens is they take the club too far on the inside. So if you watch the, my, the butt end of my club, so if I take the club on the inside, so they roll their hands, the butt end of the club points in front of them. So if they're, the butt end of the club points in front of them, that means that the club is behind their body. So as the club is lagging behind their body, the heel is presented to the golf ball. So what to do is when you need, you need to focus on focus on taking the club more towards away towards or line with the target. So feel like the club, the butt end of this club points into your side or close to your side so what that will do is it will allow you to be on an even swing path on the way back and on the way through we don't want to roll our hands on the inside so one of the one of the other faults from we went from heels and now we're talking about rolling the hands on the backswing so when we roll our hands on the backswing we take the club too far on the inside when we come on the inside we increase the chances of making contact with the heel so what you need to do is obviously uh, what we just discussed take the club back on a a straighter swing path or feel like you're taking it more on the outside and um, another one we're going to talk about is posture what tends to happen is when we address the ball we want a we want a slight bend in our knees a slight bend from the waist and a straight back almost like a cylinder so nice and tall but what tends to happen is when people shank the golf ball they address the ball they sl their shoulders are they slump over the golf ball so it's quite a static position, there's no really, there's no rotation, so what happens is their back's bent and their chin's tucked into their, into their uh, chest. So what this does is when your chin is tucked into your chest, if you think, you, if you were out for a run, you wouldn't have your chest down like this. It'd be very hard to breathe and go to where you're going. So it's, it's, it's the same principle for golf. So when your chest is stuck in, or when your chin's stuck into your chest, it's very hard to rotate, it's very hard to take the club back. So what you need to try and focus on is like a cylinder. Chin up, stand tall, you want an athletic position. So almost as we're standing very tall. And what we want to do is when we take the club back, keep our chin up. Because when our chin moves down, our eyes move down as well. And it's quite hard to turn our shoulders. So when we move, when we keep our head up, our shoulders are in a good athletic position. So we can actually rotate our shoulders back and through. So if our shoulders are slumped over the ball like this, the swing will be quite upright. So as you come on the back swing, the swing is quite upright. There's no rotation, so it's the same principle. When you take the club back, the club's got to come back down. So the heel's presented to the golf ball. So just feel like you're, feel like you're keeping your chin up. That will allow you to rotate a bit more from the inside and it will allow you to turn your shoulders more through the golf ball. And the last thing we're going to talk about is alignment. So what normally you get told, oh, it, it's the train track effect, normally your hips, shoulders and feet should be square to the target. 
But what tends to happen is people that, that shank it start aiming too far to the left. So almost, so if I'm aiming straight along the target line, people tend to aim too much, too far open. So when they open their body up, when their shoulders aim to the left, they take the club too far on the outside. So almost of a slicer's fashion, so take the club too far on the outside. And to do to compensate for this, so they take the club on the outside or they think, oh crap, I'm, I'm in danger here. So instead of taking the club back on that same plane down the way, they drop, they loop the club inside to reroute it, and then they swing it from the inside. So almost like this, I take it outside, drop it inside, and I'm so far ahead of the golf ball there, and my hips are so far ahead of it, and my hands are lagging so far behind it, or the club head, sorry, is lagging so far behind it, that I can't release the club properly. So I've got to swing out to the right, which increases the chances of making contact out that heel, and you get that horrible shot that everyone fears that goes to the right. So what you need to just, it's simple, you need to just aim square to the target. So if you're at the range, just try and feel like you're, or get that a mirror effect, so work it towards the mirror, get your feet aiming straight on the train track line, everything's square to the target, shoulder square to the target, and it'll stop that outside, drop it in the inside movement, and then contact's made out the hosel. So if you, that's uh, basically giving you four tips, or four causes for the shank, and four ways you can rectify that, so if that's helpful for you, um, why don't you subscribe to my channel at Gmail and Golf? Follow me on Twitter at Gmail and Golf. Thank you.